tonight we are going to do an installation of the Hobby Wing Platinum High Voltage 200 Amp version 4.1 ESC in my SAB RAW 700. This is the one I've stretched out to 800. We're going to replace the ESC. To do that, obviously, the ESC. Need the programming box. Cable from your computer to the programming box. A V control telemetry cable because I'm running VBAR. We will get a standard mail to mail servo plug from the program box to the telemetry port on the ESC. And of course, if you know me, we need stickers. Step one open the box. Once you've unboxed it, you have your speed controller. You've got your three leads to your motor, your two leads to your battery, your telemetry port. You also have the cable for your throttle link, which is your power and throttle command. And you have the second cable. So this is where you provide your secondary BEC output. And this here is the RPM output for like a V-control RPM port for RPM feedback. That's what it looks like. With this, you also get a fan. Now, I personally don't run the fans because I tend to run open models where I've got a lot of good cooling. But if you've got a model that's closed up where you need some extra cooling, this is a fan that you can run. Now, you can power this fan up off of the port or you can run. Uh, I've heard people talk about running off a 2S LiPo on the system itself. But anyway, you have a hot wing fan. You have the instructions. So we're grown guys. We don't need instructions, right? Actually. It's probably worthwhile to read your instructions. It talks about the, all the important details on it, gives you what the error codes are, talks about how to do your RPM standardization, how to set up, how to do firmware updates. So we're going to step off and do our firmware update. We want to update this to the current firmware because I am running vControl. I'm going to upload the VBAR firmware into this, or at least make sure it is running the current VBAR firmware. Be right back. All right, where do we stand? So right now I have the 200 amp Hobby Wing EFC mounted on my RAW. I don't have it cleaned up yet, but it's mounted there. I've got the motor kind of connected. I still got to go through and get all the connections cleaned up and all the wiring finally plugged in, but it's fundamentally mounted. I am now going to go through and do the VBAR firmware update. So because I'm running the VBAR, I need to update the VBAR firmware. So next step. We're going to take the Hoppywing USB link software. I've downloaded it already and have it running. We've got a USB cord that runs to the port on our programming box. All right, so we got that plugged in. I got a patch cable from the ESC port on the programming box going to the ESC. This is the telemetry port on the side of the ESP where you plug in your fan and your telemetry cable. That's hooked up. Check, make sure you've got positive and negative lined up right on everything so it talks. All right, so we're hooked up here. We're gonna go through now, and I've got the transmitter turned on, the software running, the program box plugged in. So next step is we're gonna go ahead and make the connection here on our battery so that this comes online, and we're gonna watch the software load up and recognize it. All right, let's get it done. All right. Let's connect the battery. Transmitter's running. So, it energizes. Software comes up. And we're asked to connect. Click connect. It's busy. Software's booting up and finding it. We are connected. All right, so we're connected. So obviously the V control is up and running. Hobby is energized. And we are connected. ESC speed controller. So in the connection status, it says ESC speed controller. So let's go through and do our firmware update. 
Uh, you'll notice here that we have the option. We're going to look through here and you see if you hit the button, you can scroll down and look at what firmware options are available. I want the V-Bar one. So I make sure V-Bar is selected. Okay. And we're going to hit upgrade. And here we go. We are off to the races. All right, we have a upgrade firmware complete. So next step. All right, software's run. So let's do some parameter setup. So we're gonna plug the ESC back in. She boots back up. We connect. Give it a second. All right, we are connected. We're gonna go through and set up some of these parameters. So right now we are looking at a flight mode. By flight mode, we're gonna leave at elevator gov store. Auto calculate, that auto calculates the LiPo cells in your battery, 6S, 12S, and S, whatever you're running. This is gonna auto calculate it. Voltage cutoff, I'm gonna leave it at soft. That is when you see a low voltage condition on your battery. How does the ESC respond? I want a soft cutoff so it doesn't drop the RPM too hard, but it does drop the RPM. My cutoff voltage, voltage per cell. So we're gonna leave it at stock at three volts. BEC voltage is set at 7.9. That's where I want it. Startup time is 12 seconds. Normally it's 15, I change that to 12. So if you see here, we could go and change that. So I'm gonna leave it at 12. Throttle control, where all this is, Standard. I'm going to leave it where everything's at. I'm not going to make any changes. Most motor rotation. So once I'm ready to check rotation, I can come here and I can either change it from clockwise to counterclockwise or I can swap to the motor leads. We're going to leave it alone for right now. Speed governing. I want to set my motor poles to 10. This is a five pole pair motor, so it's 10 poles. I'm going to apply those settings to the speed controller. Motor is sent to the ESC. Okay. Like I said, we've already done the firmware, so it's telling me that my firmware is ready. So, let's see what she looks like on the radio. So we'll go ahead and go back to the command screen, and we're going to hit disconnect. All right, be back in a second. Okay. So, we've done the firmware update. We have reconnected the telemetry cable. Everything is plugged back in, and we have everything working. So, my next step now is we are going to teach it throttle endpoints. So, let's go through that. Okay, we are going to calibrate the endpoints now. Edit model setup. All blades are off, so we're safe. We're gonna select enable direct throttle calibration. Yes. We are going to power down the helicopter. Are we powered on the helicopter? Power the plug it back in. All right. Your heart beep beep. We have now calibrated our helicopter. Okay, now that we have calibrated our endpoints, our next step is going to be setting governor store mode because I run governor store we're going to store a reference point. So I'm going to make sure I've got a fully charged battery. I'll do it this weekend and I'll film it for us. I'll put a fully charged battery in the helicopter. I will go
go into my setup and I will switch to Governor Store so that it looks for its very first flight after I set Governor Store and the Hobby Wing. It's going to look for a reference point. So I'm going to set my throttle curve under my flight parameter. I'm going to go to Governor. I'm going to set Bank to 50%. I'm going to take the helicopter out, set it on the ground. I'm going to spool it up at mid stick to that idle up one at 50% set point. I'm going to let the helicopter run there for about 20 seconds. And then I want to shut it down. I'm going to unplug the helicopter so I can reset the ESC and that stores that 50% reference point in the hobby wing speed controller. And at that point in time, I will be done with setup. So I'll show you how we go through that. We'll put that in the next segment of the video. Have a great day. Take care and have fun flying.